Okay, so if all the denominators are the same, what you're going to do okay, is you find your LCD, okay, and this is the step for all rational, adding and subtracting rational expressions, but the LCD is just going to be that common denominator, okay, and you're going to write it as a single fraction. All right, so if you were to find your LCD here, it's just your denominator, binomial x plus 3. Okay, and when you write them as a single fraction, you're going to use the following process. And I'm going to always use the same phrasing, even though it's redundant on this, you, you don't necessarily need it. But what you're going to do when you write what's in the numerator of your single fraction is you're going to take the entire numerator of your first fraction, and you're going to multiply that by any LCD factor that's missing from this fraction's denominator. Now, in the case where all of them have the same denominator to start with, none of them are missing any LCD factors because there's only the one. So it's just this times one or le left alone. Okay, minus the next fraction's numerator, 4x minus 5, times any LCD factor missing from its denominator. Again, it's not missing anything. Plus the next fraction's numerator, 7x plus 9, times any LCD factor missing from that fraction's denominator. Once again, nothing missing. Notice I put grouping symbols around each of the uh, fractions numerators. Okay, not a bad idea to do that. Okay, then the second step uh, in this is going to be to simplify your numerator. When I simplify a numerator, I tend to do it uh, outside of the fraction form. And so what I'll do is I'll just take all my numerator terms and I'll work with those separately. So I have my x squared plus 5x plus 1. I'm going to distribute my negative. So minus 4x minus a minus gives me plus 5. Then here my plus 7x and my plus 9. Okay, so all I'm going to do, I vertically stack my like terms, combine them, and I get x squared. Uh, here I get a total of uh, plus 8x. And here I get a total of plus 15. Okay, once I simplify my numerator completely, I'm then going to move to my next step, which is to factor and reduce my fraction. Okay, so notice a part of this means when I come back into working with just the numerator and I replace the denominator. So I put the denominator back in its place here. So the x plus 3, and what that allows me to do now is to factor and reduce this fraction. So my numerator can be written in a factored form. 15 has two factors whose sum is 8, 5 and 3, all over the x plus 3. So once I write this in its factored form, I can cancel any common factors, and I get my solution, x plus 5. Because I canceled a factor from my denominator, I do have to restrict that as a additional domain restriction, and this would be my solution, x plus 5, x not equal to negative 3. All right, so in this problem, when you find your LCD, notice that my LCD, my denominators are the same, okay, but they're not factors. I want to find a least common denominators, and I want to put them in factored form. So what I would do is think of these in its factored form, r plus 2, and r minus 2. Because when I find my least common denominators, I'm looking for individual factors. So I have two LCD factors here. So when I write my single fraction, that's my LCD. I'm going to take the numerator of my first fraction, r squared, times any LCD factor that's missing from its denominator. It has both these binomial factors. So I move to the next fraction's numerator, minus a negative 9r minus 14 times any LCD factor missing from that fraction's denominator. Once again, it's not missing anything. So I'm then going to simplify my numerator. I'm going to take those and work just with my numerator, r squared, distribute my negative. So minus and minus becomes plus 9r, minus and minus becomes plus 14. Okay, and I'm going to continue to uh, write this. It, it, it does have factored form, r plus 7, r plus 2. Once I get it all the way simplified and factored, I can re put it back into its fraction form. So the r plus 2 in the denominator and the r minus 2, carry those into the denominator. And then I can reduce my fraction, the r plus 2's cancel, and that gives me my answer of r plus 7 divided by r minus 2. 
So there is my simplified form. And I did cancel a factor from my denominator. The domain restriction apparent, or that's no longer apparent in the simplified form is that R can't be a negative 2. So I have to include that as a separate uh, additional domain restriction.